Hey everyone, welcome back to Tip of the Week. For this week's video, since we're sort of moving out of those summer months and into the fall months where it's a little more gloomy, I want to show you my tips and tricks on how to create a nice moody portrait using On One Photo Raw 2018. So to begin, we're going to start in the Browse module. And this is where we're just going to find the photo that we want to edit. Well, in this case, we have a group of similarly looking shots that I sort of shot around the same time. Well, if we want to compare those photos, all we need to do is simply click on them and we can head into compare view mode here. Now that we're in compare view mode, we can easily look through these photos by making sure we have lock, pan, and zoom selected. And now if we click in on this photo, we can zoom in and really tell which photo has the best focus, the best expression, and the best composition for what we're trying to accomplish. So right away after zooming in on some of the faces here, I noticed that this photo is a little too soft and it's lacking some focus in her eyes. And then I also have a couple other expressions where her eyes are halfway closed. So if we want to remove those photos from our compare view mode, all we have to do is hit the slash key on our keyboard. It'll remove the photo for us instantly. So I'm just going to zoom out real quick and I'll find the photos that we don't want to have in our compare view mode. And I can just remove them instantly. So now that we have it down to three different expressions, now we can pick which one we like the best. So I'm just going to zoom in again. And I really actually do like this dramatic expression she's giving off here. So I can just grab this one and we'll see what, if we like that a little bit better. I'm going to still go with the dramatic one. So I'm just going to remove these with the slash key. And if we zoom out, now we have the photo ready and we can take it into develop and start editing it. So I can just head over to the develop module and it'll take me into it instantly. And now that we're in develop, there's a couple things I want to do before I start getting creative with the filters and start making this photo really moody. And the first thing I want to do is I want to crop it a little bit. So I'm just going to head over to my crop tool here. I'm going to hold down the shift key and bring it in so it has a nice little crop. probably about right there. Just hit enter. And now we have a nicely cropped photo that we can start editing. And there's not a whole lot I really want to do to this photo instead of the tone and color. I really only want to just pull out a little bit of the contrast and maybe a few of the darker areas in my photo. So what we can do is I'm just going to pull up on the exposure slider a little bit just to bring a, a little more light into my shot. And then I'm going to pull up on the contrast slider so that it'll make my image pop a little bit more and come to life. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull up on my midtones to make it a little bit more evenly exposed. And then I'm going to pull up on my shadows so that I can reveal a little bit more of the darker areas in my shot. And I know our photo isn't looking too moody right now, but that's because we're just establishing a nice tonality and then we're going to make all the moody stuff inside of effects. So the last couple things I want to do instead of develop to this photo is I just want to head down to my black slider and I'm just going to hold down my J key so that I can reveal my true white and true black in my photo. I see that I have a little bit of true white in her hair, but that's not a big deal. So you'll notice that probably on the background where all this dark area is, if I pull back on the black slider, it's probably going to get blue pretty fast. Well, I'm just going to pull it back to about a six, just so there's a little bit of true black in my photo. And the last thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to head down to this temperature slider and I'm going to warm up the photo a little bit. And that's going to bring back some of that warm color in her face and also in these flowers here. So now if we hit the backslash key on our keyboard and look at our original photo, you'll see that we have a nicely exposed photo to take inside of effects. So let's head into effects. And the first thing I want to do to this photo before I actually add any filters is I see a couple smile lines down here and then she's got a few blemishes on her face. So we can easily just grab our retouch brush here. And now we can just remove these smile lines real quick. And any blemishes that we see. So there we go. Now that we've removed all of the blemishes from our model's face here, now we can start adding different filters to create a nice moody look for our shot. And the first filter I want to add is I'm going to add the grunge filter. And the grunge filter obviously is going to work right away at getting our photo to that nice moody grungy look. And there's a bunch of great presets in here that I like to use. I usually just like to hit the lighter one. 
that's going to give me a nice moody look, but also it's going to maintain some of the colors and also some of the brightness in my photo so that it's not too dark for my liking. And if you do decide that you want it a little bit darker or a little bit brighter after using a preset, you can just simply head down to your brightness controls and you can get it how you like. Or if you want it a little bit more color saturated, you can just use your saturation slider and give it more color as you please. I'm just gonna stick with the lighter preset. I really like what that's doing to my shot. If I turn this on and off, you'll see it does a great job of sort of subduing the highlights around her and then giving us this nice moody look. So the next filter I want to add, I wanna add a filter that deals with this area of highlights around her face and her expression. So I'm gonna add a filter and I'm going to add a vignette. And I'm just gonna make sure I click Big Softy. And you'll notice right away that if I turn this on and off, it does a great job of sort of subduing this backlit highlight around her hair and really bringing the viewer's attention into her expression. If you wanna pull back on the brightness or make it a little more subtle, you can always just decrease the size of it and pull back on the brightness. And now it's a little less vignette but you're still sort of getting that same effect. I'm going to leave mine at Big Softy because I really like how that's making our photo a little bit more moody. And the next filter I wanna add, just so I can give it a little bit more punch on the faded moody look side, is I'm gonna add a filter and I'm going to add a tone enhancer. And I'm going to head down to curves. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up on my true black point on this tone curve and that's going to give me sort of a faded matte look on my shot, and it's going to bring out some of that moody look that I'm looking for. So I'm just gonna pull up on this true black point here, and you'll see it'll give me a faded matte look onto my shot. Well, let's pull back on that a little bit, and now what we can do to sort of equal that out is we'll pull down on our shadows, and then we'll boost our midtones a little bit, and now if we turn this on and off, it's given our photo a nice unique style while also adding that nice faded look that a lot of moody portraits have. And the last filter I wanna add onto this photo just to give it that nice complete moody look is I'm going to add bleach bypass. And bleach bypass is great for moody looks because it decreases saturation and increases contrast. Kind of all of the elements you want in a moody photo and I really actually want some of that color back in my shot, so I can just head down to my saturation controls here and just increase it a little bit to bring back some of that color into my photo. So now if I turn this on and off, you'll see it's doing a great job of giving us a nice moody look while also maintaining some of the color in our shot. So if I hit the backslash key on my keyboard, You'll see we've really taken this image and made it a nice moody portrait. Thanks so much for watching and stay tuned for next week's tip of the week.